seems in the beauty of the morning there's a sweetness unsurpassed when the twilight shadows deepen there's a peace until the last Wilson
Good afternoon, and on behalf of the trustees, administration, faculty, and staff of Wilson College, welcome, for the first time in the college's 151-year history, to the virtual conferral of degrees. It is my distinct honor to lead you, even from a distance, through this important ceremony. As you know, the COVID-19 pandemic does not allow each of us to gather today as we normally would on the college green to celebrate the outstanding accomplishments of the class of 2020. Commencement is a sacred day in higher education and a long held tradition at Wilson. And we will not attempt to replicate that event today. We look forward to the weekend of October 25th when each graduate will walk across the stage, a privilege they so richly deserve, along with the many other traditions that accompany our commencement ceremony. Nor will we allow this pandemic to diminish our celebration of the accomplishments of each and every graduate. Thus today, we mark the occasion of the official conferral of degrees. Graduates, today you make a place in history. This pandemic is the challenge of our generation and your story is one that will be told for years and years to come, but the ending has not yet been written. You have the ability to determine it. And yes, your ending will include amazing job opportunities and graduate school admissions. But more importantly, your ending will be defined by your contribution to humanity. If we have learned anything from this current challenge, it is that we need the love of those around us and that when we pause and take a moment to care for, the, for others, the world becomes a better place. For the first time in decades, you can actually see the tops of the Himalayan mountains. Parents now have a new sense of appreciation for teachers as they discover how hard it is to teach one child at home, not to mention a full classroom. We have learned the joy of our physical presence all day, every day, can bring to our pets. And we have learned just how important community is to who we are as human beings. We are having to find new and interesting ways to create that community. And we long for a time when we can be together again. And just lend a hug to those who need our support. It is more important now than ever before for you to show the world what your Wilson education can help you accomplish. You have been given the skills to think critically and analytically, to be creative, to communicate effectively and efficiently, to live and work honorably, to work with people not like yourself, and to value community. These are the very skills our world needs right now in the face of this challenge. Wilson creates leaders, and you can be a part of the solution to making the world a better place. Now is the time to stop and take pause. Decide what kind of person you want to be in the world. When your journey on this planet is done, how will you be remembered? I suspect it won't be for the job you held or how much money you made, but for the difference you made in the lives of others. I know that Wilson has taught you to make a difference, and I hope you will take this unique opportunity to lead by example, because the world needs you now more than ever before and your Wilson family will be right here with you, even with distance. We are a family, and we will want to celebrate your success and help you get back up when you stumble. I hope you will never forget this remarkable institution and that you will always find your way home to our beautiful campus. You are always welcome home. Wilson College is a resilient place, and having come through this, you are resilient people. And look at it this way. Whenever you get asked in an interview to describe going through a difficult situation and how you handled it, you already have the perfect answer. Class of 2020, I am so proud of you. You will forever be my first class as president and will hold a special place in my heart. 
I cannot wait to congratulate you personally in October. But until then, as I am known to say, we are and will always be one Wilson. Class of 2020, congratulations. It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce Megan Potter, president of the senior class, president of WCGA, president of the Student Athletic Association, vice president of Student Athlete Mentors, a Phoenix leader, and a star member of the women's softball team to bring greetings on behalf of the graduates. Greetings to my classmates at a class of 2020. I'm Megan Potter, your class president, and all I kind of wanted to say to you guys is that patience is a virtue. We waited for things our entire life, whether it be the night before a birthday, earning a driver's license, rocking your favorite outfit at a school dance, or most importantly, attending our college graduation. The class of 2020 here at Wilson College and across the country has worked so hard and has accomplished so much throughout their academic journeys, which makes this moment that much harder to beat a distance. However, no matter where we are in this time of uncertainty, we must recognize that this is a celebration. We graduated, we're done, we've earned our degrees. It's okay to be excited, it's okay to smile. You've made it through four years of tedious assignments, 8 a.m. lectures, all-nighters, and far too much more to add to this list. And now, after the celebration, we're not really sure what's gonna happen next. And that's okay too. Tomorrow can wait until some other day. If I could sum up my experience at Wilson College for the past four years in one sentence, it would have to be, expect the unexpected. You might have thought that you had your calendar in order or all of your assignments on track, but life always threw a curveball much better than I could pitch off the mound. There was never a day that I woke up, walked outside of my residence hall, and knew how the day would end, let alone what I was eating for dinner. I can only guess that most of you have had the exact same experience as well, which shows that although this chapter has come to a close, we are not alone for the rest of our story. This beautiful campus has witnessed the blossoming of new friendships, accolades, and memories to last a lifetime. As the graduating class of 2020, we have been a part of some of the most bold moments in Wilson College's 150 years of history. We saw our first Phoenix athletic team, the 2019 softball squad, earn a bid to the NCAA tournament, and our 2019 field hockey team won their first CSAC conference championship. We were catalysts in revamping our community through the creation of Sarah's Cupboard, the finished construction of the Veterinarian Education Center, the transformation of Sarah's Coffee House, and chose the coolest bow tie wearing president this campus has ever seen. The list is endless on what we've accomplished throughout our time at this remarkable institution. We were more than just students, we were part of a revolutionary community, and we still are. When we wanted change, we sought after it. We didn't sit around and wait for it to happen. So I know that having to wait for this true celebration we've earned is the biggest challenge we must face. Despite all of this, these past four years with all of you is well worth the wait. Our proper commencement will be here soon enough. But until then, I'll be waiting for all of you to come back home. Thank you. Thank you, Megan. I know you have much more to share with your fellow graduates, and I'm sure everyone joins me in looking forward to more reflections and words of inspiration from you at your commencement activities in October. And now we have reached that moment in time. It's time to make things official for the Wilson College Class of 2020. I now invite to the dais, Dr. Alyssa Heil, Vice President for Academic Affairs and Dean of Faculty to present the candidates for degrees. Thank you, President Fugit. I look forward to joining you again in October when, in addition to recognizing each individual graduate, we will acknowledge the candidates who have earned honors. Mr. President, the faculty have examined our candidates for graduate degrees and attest that they have, respectively, completed the requirements for the degree of Master of Education, Master of Educational Technology, Master of Special Education, Master of Fine Arts, Master of Healthcare Administration, Master of Arts and Humanities, and the Master of Science in Nursing. It has been recommended by the faculty that these degrees be conferred upon them. Mr. President, it is with pleasure and affection that I present to you our candidates for graduate degrees. Candidates for graduate degrees. By the authority invested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and the Board of Trustees of Wilson College, and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I do hereby confer upon each of you the degree of Master of Education, 
Master of Educational Technology, Master of Special Education, Master of Fine Arts, Master of Healthcare Administration, Master of Arts in Humanities, and Master of Science of Nursing, respectively, with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Congratulations. Mr. President, the faculty have also examined our bachelor degree candidates and attest that they have respectively completed the requirements for the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of Science in Nursing. It has been recommended by the faculty that these degrees be conferred upon them. Mr. President, it is with pleasure and affection that I present to you our candidates for bachelor degrees. Candidates for bachelor degrees. By the authority invested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and the Board of Trustees of Wilson College, and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I do hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and the Bachelor of Science in Nursing, respectively, with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Congratulations. Mr. President, the faculty have also examined our associate degree candidates and attest that they have, respectively, completed the requirements for the degree of Associate of Arts and Associate of Science. It has been recommended by the faculty that these degrees be conferred upon them. Mr. President, it is with pleasure and affection that I present to you our candidates for associate degrees. Candidates for associate degrees. By the authority invested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and the Board of Trustees of Wilson College, and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I do hereby confer upon each of you the degree of Associate of Arts and Associate of Science, respectively, with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Congratulations. Congratulations. You are all now officially graduates of Wilson College and join in an impressive cohort of alumni and alumni around the globe. The entire Wilson family joins me in saying, job well done. But don't take my word for it. You did it. Congratulations. You've overcome obstacles that none of us could have imagined. I'm so incredibly proud of you. I cannot wait to see the incredible and amazing things you will do. On behalf of the Department of English, congratulations, graduates. It has been a privilege being your professors. Visit often. As you look to your futures, don't forget where you came from in the past. Come back and visit us often. And if you have nothing to do for the future, there's always the Masters in Humanities program. Congratulations. I'm really proud of you all. You have completed what will probably be the hardest semester of your academic career, 
and you have completed probably the hardest senior year of anyone in recent history. I'm very proud of you. Congratulations, we're proud of you. Go Evens. Hi, Wilson College graduates. Uh, while we miss sending you off in person and getting to see your faces, um, it's been really great having you in class and we just wanted to wish you the best of luck in your future adventures and endeavors. Class of 2020, just want to say congratulations to you. I want to thank you for including me in so many things and teaching me so many wonderful words. And so I want to use those words to tell you how great I think you are. Class of 2020, you all are slappy. Not slappy. Slaps. The class of 2020 slaps. Yeet. I don't know what any of that means, but y'all rock. Masks off to the class of 2020. Congratulations. Congratulations to the class of 2020, especially the financial math, business, and accounting majors. You beat the odds during this unprecedented semester. Congratulations, class of 2020, and best wishes. Congratulations, seniors. I'm proud of you. You are definitely leaving Wilson College better than you found it, and we will miss you. Hi, class of 2020, and congratulations. We can now count ourselves as officially part of the same alumni family, considering that I'm a Wilson alumna too. Go Evens! I just want to remind all of you that despite the circumstances surrounding the last few weeks and the, the rest of the spring semester, that everything is possible. And in fact, right, that word impossible becomes I'm possible when we reframe it. So since I'm a word person, I just thought I would throw that out there. But congratulations and good luck in all of your future endeavors. We will miss you greatly. Congratulations on your graduation class of 2020. We miss seeing you here on campus, but we're really excited to celebrate with you in October. You did it! Congratulations! We are so proud of you and we are honored that we got to be a part of this journey with you. Please know that we are still here to support you and we are cheering you on as you enter this new leg of life's journey. Hi everybody, Dr. B here. It's a beautiful day and I know that your graduation is going to be a beautiful virtual environment because we all care. This is my dog Winnie. She is a Welsh Pembroke Corgi and we all wish you congratulations on graduating and we'll see you in October. Please come back so that I can put those nursing pins on some of you. Take care and have a wonderful graduation day. Bye! Congratulations class of 2020. We'll see you in October. Congratulations and best wishes to the class of 2020 from the Wilson College Marshals. Go Evens! Congratulations class of 2020. As Dr. Sue says, you have brains in your head and feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself whichever way you choose. Yes, you have a bumpy road ahead, but you are more than prepared to do it. You are ready to take on the world. Congratulations Wilson class of 2020. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations, Wilson class of 2020. Working with students is the best part of my job and working with you guys has been amazing. I wish you all the best in your next chapter of your lives and just make sure you remember your time at Wilson fondly, even though it ended kind of differently. Congratulations, class of 2020. Stay bold, be courageous, and light the world on fire. Go Phoenix. Hey 2020, Katie Coe here. Congratulations, you did it. 
It has been an honor and a privilege to be with you during this journey, and Wilson College is definitely a better place because you were here. So now it's time to go out and go get them, and make sure you come back and tell me all about it. Happy graduation. Congratulations to the class of 2020. You know this COVID situation, you know this really stinks, but it got me to supposing and it gotten me to think how to convey excitement, how to relate my pride. You know that we're supporting you, we all on your side. Congrats to you, a job well done. Now go into the world and run. Set the world on fire with your knowledge and your spark. Remember Wilson as the place where it's really hard to park. Wilson is where many got your start. It's where the faculty care and have a heart. We are so happy for you and proud beyond belief and hope you see the accomplishment was worth all the grief. We will miss your presence here. The campus will not be the same. We honor your graduation and salute your academic game. Take that lovely tassel and turn it to the left and realize this now that you are a Wilson gift. A shout out to my nurses. I want to be clear. I really am excited to call you all my peers. Hi, it's Shayna Hollick. I'm here in my best Wilson swag to say congratulations to the class of 2020, all you graduate students, traditional students, adult students. You've all worked really hard for this and you're gonna go out and do great things. So congrats for me and the rest of the library. Thanks. Congratulations, Wilson graduates. We're all very happy for you and proud of you. Hi, I'm Chris Canals, Assistant Director of Financial Aid at Wilson College. I want to say congratulations to the class of 2020. You guys rock. We are really going to miss you. Congratulations again. Go find your Wilson Bold. Congratulations to you, class of 2020. Best wishes for future success. One Wilson, indeed. Graduates, today begins a new chapter in your lives. You enter the world prepared to make a difference. And as we close one chapter of your Wilson story, a new chapter begins. Wilson College is a family and a lifelong relationship. I will look forward to welcoming you home in October for the first of many homecomings and reunions. Class of 2020, job well done. And from the beautiful campus green, I say, Godspeed.